Hello everyone. You may be wondering what wine you should start with. And in the wine world, if you walk into the store or anywhere looking for a bottle, it can be overwhelming. There's lots of options and you might just be confused in general and not really know what to pick. I've got three white wines here that I've got set out for beginning choices. So first, I've got a Pinot Grigio from Italy. Pinot Grigio and Pinot Gris are the same thing, but when it's from Italy, it's Pinot Grigio. Now these wines are typically lighter in body, fruit forward, and medium alcohol. So nothing that's gonna overwhelm anybody, even if it's their first wine experience. It's great for drinking on the patio, outdoors, you can pair it with lighter dishes if you want to, but it's mainly a sipping wine. So easy drinking, and Pinot Grigio, you'll see that on the label every time, whether it's from Italy, if it's from California, they're all gonna be light bodied and easy drinking. Next, I have a Riesling. This one in particular is from Australia. Most of the time you're gonna see them from Germany and cooler climate areas. So Riesling is sometimes a sweeter grape varietal that makes sweeter wines, obviously, but they can be dry. An easy indicator for that is to look at the back of the bottle and check out the alcohol percentage. Now Moscato, one of the sweetest white wines available, is typically in between five and seven percent alcohol. This Riesling is sits at... 2,000 years later. This Riesling sits at 10% alcohol, which would be considered medium or off dry. Now Riesling is more of a medium body wine, but it's got high acidity and generally a little bit of residual sugar, giving you kind of like a sweet green apple dessert type of flavor, especially when it's from cooler climate areas. So the last white wine that I have out is a Sauvignon Blanc. And this one in particular is from New Zealand. Now New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are kind of special and because of the soil types and how they're made, the terroir, it always has somewhat of a grapefruity characteristic. Now some are stronger than others and they don't use any grapefruit when producing the wines. However, they almost always have that underlying characteristic. So if you're looking for a lighter wine that's acidic and crisp and refreshing that has a little bit more of a fruity flavor, go with the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Now if you don't like grapefruit at all, you still may like these, so it's not worth completely cutting it out. However, Sauvignon Blanc from California and France can both have a little bit more of a citrusy characteristic, but are typically higher in body and sometimes can be a little bit on the grassy or more vegetable-y side. So if you find a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, expect something citrusy, grapefruity, and, and high in acidity, crisp and refreshing. So that's what I would say, even if you're not a beginner and you're just wondering what you should start out with for the day, what bottle you should start out with. These are three great options. They're light enough to get your palate ready for something bigger and bolder with food or without food. These are awesome choices. So get out there and try some wine.